Hello everyone, Nurgleprobe here and welcome to my very first creative time lapse here on the channel. Because this is the very first video posted, I'll quickly explain what this is and why it's here. So, if you didn't know, I've started painting 40k minis on stream, something that I will do a lot more of in the future. The reason I will post these time lapses on YouTube is to share the progress of what I'm doing and to tell you what paints I'm using and why I decided to use one paint over another maybe and how I worked it in onto the model and to share what's going on. So let's jump right into this Heretic and Renegade Basilisk that I've been working on on stream. And you can also of course find the stream down below if you would like to see this live in the future. The base coast used for the model is Death Guard Green Spray, not the pot that you see on the side. The details you can see me working on now are all bolts and crevices on the model using Agrex Earthshade to give the very first depth to all that green. After this was done, I did a light dry brush of Ogren Camo to bring out some of the details again and also make the bolts pop out so they weren't covered all in wash and just darkened down. The whole side was then washed with a Thonian Camo shade and this is just to make it a bit more greenish in color. And the reason for that is because the heretic army I'm doing is focused around Nurgle and Nurgle demons and the, the fall wings of Nurgle and dirtiness and of course you need greenness for that so that's why I decided to go with the Thonian Camo shade. Once the wash was dry, I once again did a light dry brush to get back some of those edges, and this time I did it with Elysian Green to not go too bright from the wash that we just did. So after the dry brush and before we started to dirty down the tank, I wanted to make sure that we did all the possible highlights that we could before the next steps. So I decided to do some edge highlighting with Ogren Camo. First step of getting the tank dirty was to use a sponge to dab some color onto the tank and using flat brown followed by lead belcher to the bottom, front and back of the tank we definitely got a pretty cool effect. I then started working on the rust of the tank. Even after a quick discussion with my chat, I decided to go against their better judgment and go with Reichland Flesh Shade instead of Agrax Earth Shade that the chant wanted to give it a bit more of a brownish, uh, rusty color instead of a darker one. And I think that fits the green and the Nurgle th theme a bit more than uh, the dark rust that we would have given or gotten from uh, Agrax. I would even say that it would have been more about oily stains instead of rusty stains. So I'm happy with that.
Finally, I decided to work some of the details on the side. I painted the bronze using the colors that you can see on the screen and in that order. And these were the paints I used to color the wings. And then of course, the skull. As you watch me finishing up this model, I just wanted to say that this is the very first model of my heretic army, and that is also why I'm painting only one side of the tank, because I wanted to make sure that I was happy with all the color decisions and all the shades and all the details that we worked on, so that it would be easier to cover up if I actually changed my mind after this process, but I am really liking where it's going at the moment. Once the complete tank is painted up, we will also go back to everything and dirty it up some more, giving it a, a bit more war-torn feeling to it, because I think that fits the heretics a bit better than the cleanliness of the dirt that's on the tank now. But we'll see, because I'm really liking where the tank is going right now. So after the stream and before this picture was taken, I also added some hot orange to some of those rusty parts to make it pop a bit more and feel even more rusty. Once again, thank you for watching, and if you would like to see more 40k painting and gaming videos in the future, don't forget to hit all the buttons down below, hit the subscribe, hit the follows, check the social medias, go check out the stream and follow up there as well so you can see me go live next. And remember, play smart, play nice, and I'll see you online.